So, just goes to show you that good things come in twos, or at least different variants. <laughs> Let's get on topic. Hey everybody, it's Thomas with Get Out Arizona, and you are watching another episode of Bicycle Showcase on Toolbox Topic. I'm joined once again with my co-host, Brandon Van Leuven. Brandon, how the hell are you? Fine. Fine? <laughs> so you getting your beard? <laughs> it's coming back. No, no shave November is next month, dude, so you're... Been real lazy. Yeah, you know, keep it, keep it going. So, um... <laughs> If I sound a little subdued, I'm still recovering from my uh, my surgery and everything like that. You look good but back in the action, your nose. yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah. Good. it's better. <laughs> All it's beat up man. and everything. Yeah, it was pretty gnarly. So, um, <laughs> almost back to 100. percent So I'm 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 happy for that. And congratulations, cancer free. Yep, cancer free. So I was really excited about that too. <laughs> It's happy oh, just to sleep in my that? own bed, you know, and it's like, hey, 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 so it's the little things, guys. So yeah, a lot to be thankful for uh, this episode this week, um, as always. So um, today Absolutely. we're talking about on the bike showcase, we're talking about the Verb 2, but this is the Verb 2 Plus. So this is Trek's pedal assist version of the oh, Verb, which we talked about great entry level comfort bike, comfort hybrid bike. Um, and that sweet spot, is this the entry level for pedal assist bikes for Trek? For the Trek lineup, yes. This okay. is where we start with this Verb 2 Plus. Okay. Um, Let me tell you else where we're going to start. We're going to start by you hitting the like and subscribe oh. button and the bell notification icon. Because I know some of you guys don't stick around to the end of the video. Not that I can really blame them. So before you forget and do anything else and get distracted, like, subscribe, bell notification. And don't forget, we're not sponsored by Circle K, but it is the best of the shittiest <laughs> coffee out there. Keeps me sane, so. All right, Brandon, continue. So this is the intro level for yeah, Trek. this is where we start for the Trek lineup. Verf 2 Plus, 2,800 bucks. Gets you, gets you a little help. Okay. Um, this is probably the <laughs> pedal assist bike that we sell the most of. Okay. Uh, if you notice, still it's a little cr slightly crude in design because mm -hmm. now if you look at some of the more advanced models, the batteries are going to be integrated into the frame. Right. They just look a little bit nicer, just a little cleaner. Mm -hmm. um, but for 2800 bucks, man, why not? You get a great bike. Right. You're getting a great bike and it, it's just they weren't worried about cosmetics on this. Not so much. Not so much. More but, getting people into it. But the price point is great, getting right. people into it. You get a 250 watt motor on this guy that's going to assist you up to 20 miles an hour which is now there are some bike like this yeah fantastic. and there are some commuter bikes that are assist up to 28 28 yeah correct okay our uh, lawn s models okay we'll do that um and as soon as some of those become ones. available as far as stock here at track uh we'll go ahead and showcase those so you yeah. can see some of yeah. the differences that'd be great so, so now like the verve 2 non-pedal assist you have a little bit of cushion in the and the seat post, <laughs> you've got the adjustability on the awesome. stem and neck and everything. You have a nice entry level group that you can upgrade, but not necessarily a need as far as that goes. No. Rocking some disc brakes. We yes. still got the clincher rims, uh, hub sets, which. Yes. But they come with some really strong tires. They come with the Harkis Ultimate tires, right. which is great for, <laughs> for some thorn protection yeah, and some, yeah. some debris protection. Flat um, protection. I noticed we got this flash fenders yeah and a rack on it, this one it's intended to be a practical bike yeah for commuting for grocery getting right um also for touring all that uh let's also mention that they do have integrated lights that run off of the, the battery. battery that are um going to be available to you at all times which is really nice for safety and both well these are going to be for safety because these are going to be flashers right um they're not super bright for seeing um in the dark but cars will definitely know you're there. Yeah, and just like we've discussed in several episodes, which I'll go ahead and link some of them up there in a card uh, about safety and lights. Bright, highly mm -hmm. visible, if you don't, it's one of those things you don't wanna skimp on as far as getting the generic version or something that has low lumens or high lumens for a short run time or something like that. Spend that extra money if you're gonna, on the safety as far as lighting goes. Now I noticed this one also has a kickstand, um, this rack actually looks pretty sturdy, it I'm is. sure. It is. They got some nice little... Nice 30-pound, probably, <laughs> load weight or something like that. Good features on um, this one. 
So, obviously intended for the commuter. You know, somebody may, might work 20, 25 miles from their job, which you guys might be going 25 miles. That's kind of far. It's actually really not, not especially on bikes. a pedal assist bike. Yeah, yeah, you go really yeah. quick. And if you live in an area that promotes biking with bike lanes and bike paths and stuff like that, you'd be surprised. Even or there. even getting to your local bus stop and busing to a spot that's closer to your office or job or wherever you work and then biking the rest of the way um, there and kind of double dipping on that. Certainly. Um, and now, while we're talking about our trip to work, let's talk right. about the range. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> what's, what's the range on something like this, which I know is going to vary between eco tour plus and yes. that EMBT mode. Right. It also depends on our weather Wait. conditions, uh, how much we're packing on it. Right. I mean, all these things are variables. Yep. Uh, where you're riding, how hilly it is, where you're mm -hmm. riding, but let's just ballpark this stuff. And we can say that ballpark, if we're gonna ride all the way to work in turbo mode, we're gonna ballpark around 40 miles right. per charge. Um, and then if Which we're- Which isn't bad. Yeah, it's not bad. It's a long ride, 40 yeah. miles, um, especially on a bike like this. If we're gonna keep it in eco mode, hopefully around 100 miles perhaps, right. depending on conditions. Mm -hmm. So you get some great range and then you have uh, touring, sport in between there to you know, the right, they refer to it as sport, range. not EMBT mode, which would be on right. the mountain bike. Now, to put that in perspective, guys, um, for those who've been watching for a while, Betty, um, my Rail 7, which is my pedal assist mountain bike, the furthest I've been able to ride mixed surface, and that's from my home in El Mirage to the White Tanks, through the White Tanks trails and back. Long ride. 56 miles. And knowing how to in toggle between and well and two between two modes that was yeah. between uh, touring, yeah, eco touring and EMBT. So I was toggling between two mm -hmm. modes. The little extra power when I needed it, less when I didn't, and I was able to do 56 miles. So one of the things that I suggest that anybody, if you're going to get a pedal assist bike, learn those modes. Um, what you're going to need when you're going to need it, and you can really get that battery to stretch out for you. Yep, so. And you're going to get on your display, you're going to get a battery uh, yeah. status. Yeah. So you'll know if you're, <laughs> if you're sucking up the juice. Uh, and it's too pretty fast accurate and you need too. To get home. It's pretty um, accurate. Yep, absolutely. While we're talking about the battery, especially for our Arizona viewers, mm -hmm. I think maybe for anywhere actually, what we always suggest to you when you're not using the bike, put that battery in the house in some controlled climate right. uh, areas. Um, I, we can't stress this enough in Arizona. The, the heat really plays plays bad with, with yeah, batteries. It'll, it'll crush um, them. So we always say, remove the battery, bring it inside, charge it inside. It'll make the battery last much longer. Um, there's, a, there's a diagnostic that can mm -hmm. be run through this bike. And so in order to keep your warranties <laughs> valid, let's keep that battery in, in, the, in the most coolest temperatures possible yeah yeah and don't try to uh there are hacks where you can unlock it and get unlimited as far as what it'll assist you up to and stuff like that don't be a jackass okay <laughs> that will Seriously, void your, warranty, it'll your well. warranty number one <laughs> and number two i can tell you on the bikes that i've ridden 28 assists just to you know test them out 28 miles an hour on a bike you're you're moving it's moving you know i mean downhill on a road bike downhill on a mountain bike i've gotten i've exceeded that speed before you're moving you don't need to go any faster than that um put yourself in harm's way because remember the safety gear that you're wearing yeah isn't rated for 60 plus miles an hour <laughs> um so so don't be that chucklehead and i will say too now owning the rail for almost a year bosch has done an, an exceptional job with firmware updates and uh, constantly refining the experience with the e-assist bike. Um, this last upset update that they did, which created Tour Plus, um, they changed the algorithm and the, the torque structure, the torque curve, uh, absolutely amazing. It, it was a whole different bike. And increases it, per, it should have uh, increased it, your It did the longevity, yeah. As well. Yeah, it, it was absolutely amazing. So you're, you're getting that the peace of mind from an established manufacturer like Bosch with battery powered motors and stuff like that, what they've taken from the industrial community and brought it over to, uh, to cycling has, has been fantastic. So well, one thing we should know too, two, two things I want to bring up just right okay. quick. Um, you'll notice now that our motor is all set very low mm -hmm. and center. Um, we're still finding some bikes that have the motor in the back, right? but 
they position all this stuff. They've done such a nice job of positioning everything as low and as centered as possible. Mm -hmm. So you get a nice ride quality. Um, if you do have to make an emergency kind of uh, move, that, that high center of gravity isn't going to throw you around, right. which is definitely, to me, the the nicest thing about this mid mid motor box. Oh, system. absolutely. And you're going to get a two year warranty on all those electronic uh, devices, the motor, the battery um, and the head unit. So get a good warranty on them as well. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's a very, very well rounded uh, bike. And for twenty eight hundred dollars, again, we go back. I'm not saying it's cheap. Twenty eight hundred dollars is a lot of money, but you're not getting a Chinese knockoff from Walmart. Mm -hmm. Some other bike retailers, not saying that these are bad retailers, they sell what they sell, it's their business, their clientele, but you're not getting that support on the back end like you do from Trek and from Bosch. So just kind of keep that in mind. Agreed. Although I would say one of probably the best ones for that group would be the high bike. Um, I have a couple friends that ride the high bike. They really enjoy it. Definitely not as refined as <laughs> uh, the Bosch system but they've experienced good customer service. Now, anything below the high bike, you know, you, you might as well have bought it from, you know, Sluggo's Bicycles on eBay, friggin' run by a bunch of ex-convicts. No, I'm joking, guys, absolutely. But just, but so, be, it all, as far as what you purchase and everything. Now, some of you might want to, he's stuttering today, he's pacing back and forth. I have been nicotine free for seven, eight, nine, this is my 11th day. What are you doing, man? Cold turkey, no chew, no nothing, yeah. So so I'm really trying to, to make that change. Well, congratulations. Yeah, so, and normally I'd have that chew, and so now I'm having a nick fit because it's that familiarity. You know that's a real it's dirty habit. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, classic movie, classic movie. Um, so yeah, so I'm just, I'm. Getting a little little tensed up, so <laughs> pardon my stuttering and my stammering as far as that goes. And so is now if you and I'll I'll link the review to the Verve two um, up top in a card too because essentially everything else other than the pedal assist is identical. Right. So we really don't geometry need to go into that. Yeah, yeah, the geometry and everything. I'll link that to a card up up top and everything. So you're getting a very solid bike for a very reasonable price, backed by a good two year warranty. Um, and you really can't go wrong with that. Plus, you, you're getting it from here, from Trek, and <laughs> you got Brandon and, and Kale and Wyatt and Doug and everybody else here that'll uh, take care of you yeah. um, as a new Trek owner. So, um, anything else? Last anything thing again? I want to mention, not quite related to the bike, but it is related. You got a banana <laughs> hammock today? <laughs> <laughs> I saw it in his car. It's oh, yellow. Man, I thought we were gonna get oh, through this no, whole episode. Oh no, no, you didn't. Was, in that beard. I thought we were gonna get through oh, yeah. this. All right. It's coming, Brandon. All right. It's coming. The Christmas miracle and my Yuletide log. <laughs> <laughs> okay, continue. Uh, I thought we were gonna get through this one. I thought you were gonna forget. <laughs> nope. <laughs> so if if you are planning on getting an e-bike know also that you have to get a corresponding bicycle rack to, that is e rated for for the weight yep. that bikes um yeah. that these e-bikes have this bike's about 51 pounds yeah they got fat asses so you have to make sure that your rack is is rated for that perhaps you can get away with a normal rack with one e-bike but not but two. not two yeah. or not one and another bike yeah so keep that in mind as well that's going to be an expensive little <laughs> toy but um, it's gonna be worth it to keep your bike safe to keep your car safe yeah absolutely um, the one plus rack that I have I specifically bought the super duty plus so at maximum I can carry three e-bikes because mm -hmm. I know a couple other e-bike e riders but you know I had that flexibility and weight so no matter what I put on that rack it's going to support it. That fucker wasn't cheap, guys. <laughs> I'll tell you what. It was and not cheap thing, at all. But you don't want your investment to right. snap and fall on the road and, and then cause an accident. I learned something this week. If you have a, if you have, if you're trailing a car and that car has a rack on it, you need a trailer certified rack as well. Apparently the whip action that you get through the trailer, through the car, um, poses a whole new difficulty to, really? to, to rack. So 
Um, if you are trailing a car on an RV with a with a rack, that needs to be another certification as well, Interesting. or another level of of strength, shall we say? Gotcha. So All right. I I had no idea until this week. Gotcha. So that's nuts. Well, I paid top dollar for the Superman version, so I got no worries. You on probably have no worries. Yeah. No, <laughs> Captain Overkill right here. So nice rack. Yeah. No, definitely nice rack. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, baby. No, we're joking, guys. It's a kids show. It's a kids show. Most of the time. All right. Well, there you have it, guys. Uh, so let's run down the list. Verb two plus pedal mm -hmm. assist. Yep. $2,800. So. Um, 20 miles an hour. 20 miles an hour. How many of these do you have in stock here? And what is the lead time on these? I have this one in stock. Okay. <laughs> and the lead times are... They're getting better. They're getting better. I don't have specifics. Um, so let's say three to six months. We were months. lucky to get this one. Okay. Three let's to six months. Way. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you can give up your firstborn if you want. Maybe Chuck will get it to you sooner. So, um, all right, guys, thanks again for joining us. Um, we, we know you have choices, but yet you still, you know, keep choosing to come back, which makes me question <laughs> what your emotional and mental issues are. No, I'm joking, guys. We appreciate the support. So a couple things. Don't forget to hit the like, the subscribe, and the yeah bell notification oh. icon as I blank out for a second. Uh, it not only helps out the video, but it helps out the channel. We're up to 105 subscribers right now, and the views are just stacking up, so we really appreciate that support. We are going to have some links down below. One is going to be to Trek Bicycle Store hey, of West Phoenix in Goodyear, Arizona. If you have any questions, feel free to follow that link and give these guys a call. Two is going to be to bike and hike, Copper State Bike and Hike in uh, Estrella, Arizona, which is the demo store for Trek, where you can go, you can rent a bike rack, you can rent some bikes. Not every bike that you see on here you can rent for demo, but they do have a good selection. Um, try it before you buy it kind of type thing, or if you just exactly. want to get out for the weekend and, and pedal around and everything, follow that link, give those guys a call down there, and they'll be more than happy to take care of you. We have our social media, uh, our Instagram, our Facebook, and now TikTok. I know, I know. Oh. Well, yeah, I know. Don't. It, oh, it had to be man. done, dude. It had to. to <laughs> drive people to goddamn YouTube. And don't say how old I am. You realize how many fucking people watch TikTok? Adults too. They're one of the biggest consumers of TikTok videos. I couldn't believe that. I don't understand it. Neither do I. Okay. Believe me, if it wasn't for this, I wouldn't be doing it. So I know I was mystified, but our TikTok link is down there too, so you can you can follow us on TikTok now as well um, at your own peril as far as that goes. So that's it. Any of the links you see down below uh, at this point now they could be affiliate links. I almost forgot to mention we finally got to a point where we can do affiliate links now. So full disclaimer. If you well, click, well, yeah, if you click one of those links and you choose to purchase something from one of those links, we may receive a small commission. So I got to give you guys that disclaimer now as well, too. Yeah, things are just trucking along, dude. Be damn. It's a little bit sure. So, um, you know, and at that point, again, thank you for all the support, guys. We really appreciate it. And what do we always tell you guys? Be kind to yourself and others. Be amazing stewards out on the trail. And we have to ask, what are you waiting for? Only you can prevent forest fires. I'm joking. Get out, Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you on that next adventure. Take care, guys. Brandon, thanks, man. Yep.